Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010, if you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the longevity products, formulations you may have heard about, right, uh, some new, something in the news you may have read about, skin health products, or if you just have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, head over to truth, uh, head over to uh, pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, you can go to over to go over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so I want to say a few more things about health in a general sense. We've been spending, I spent the last few days talking about the general ideas of health and the medical system. Then we're going to move on to our youth and fertility hormones, pregnenolone, progesterone, and um, maybe not my all-time favorite supplement, but right near the top of the list, DHEA. Love that stuff, DHEA, especially if you guys are dealing, for men who are dealing with erectile dysfunction as they get older, DHEA, precursor to our sex hormones, the most abundant steroid in the body. We're going to spend a lot of time talking about this amazing, amazing health supplement that for now, anyway, you can get over the counter for now, DHEA. But I want to just say a few more things about health in general. This overwhelming subject, particularly as we get older, particularly if you're dealing with a whole bunch of different health strategies. As we get older, the accumulation of our poor choices and decisions begins to accrue. And by the time we're 50, 40, even 30 sometimes, our health challenges can be pretty darn intimidating. And this is where simplicity comes in. Simplicity. Simplify, simplify, simplify. That was Henry David Thoreau. Let your projects be two or three, not a hundred. Paraphrasing. That means reduce your health challenges to their basic causes when it comes to health. If you want to apply simplicity to health, reduce your health challenges to their basic causes. Don't try to address the symptoms. That's why on this program, I repeat myself over and over and over again because the symptoms are not as important. There's some specific things you could do for symptomatic relief. You could take melatonin if you want to sleep or magnesium if you want to relax your muscles. Or There's little things you could do for sure. But if you're dealing with a health challenge, uh, uh, multiple health challenges, or if you just want to increase your longevity, go to the root of health, not the leaves, not the symptoms, and always with patience, patience and always with compassion. This is a fundamental problem with our medical model because it addresses symptoms and not causes. We don't get healthier. Even though our symptoms may be hidden, we don't get better. But it's even worse than that because the medical model is disempowering to the individual. It's disempowering to us. By making our problems seem complicated and seem complex and overwhelming, it it makes itself more important. It makes itself more relevant. And notice I'm not talking about individual doctors. I'm talking about the model which individual doctors, for the most part, have bought into, as have their patients. Complexity is authority's most important strategy. 
It takes power away from us and our decisions and our choices and it puts it in the hands of an authority. One of the ugliest words in the English language, authority. Somebody else is authoring your story. Authorities in this case are the medical representatives, the doctors. The, de the, the model deifies the representatives of the, model, uh, of the model itself, the doctor who becomes a god, or at least God's representative, or the government's representative these days. This is why we say doctor's orders, or my doctor told me, or my doctor wants me, or my doctor made me. Our health system is not a health system. It's a medical system. It's a doctor system. And by the way, these days your doctor doesn't even work for you. The doctor works for the hospital. The doctor works for the HMO. The doctor has to, is beholden for his job and his livelihood to his employer, not us. We are not his employer. We are just the, we are the assets. We're the raw materials for the doctor and, and, and the HMO to extract, uh, extract resources from, extract our money from. The doctor doesn't work for us. If you go to an HMO, he's not working for you. The doctor works for the HMO. So we have a medical system, not a health system. And this transformation, by the way, has been going on for so long, for generations. It really, start, it really got going at the turn of the 20th century. And these days, now we've had five generations or six generations who believe that health equals medicine, that medicine equals health. But all we got to do is look at the state of our collective health, and we can see we're not getting healthier. Something's wrong here. We've got plenty of doctors. We got, we're paying a lot of money for it. And every year we pay more, Obamacare or not, we pay more every year for insurance premiums. We got plenty of, uh, plenty of devices and drugs and doctors and, and medical accoutrements, but we're still the first generation that's not going to live longer than our parents. And it's even worse. It, not only is the medical profession incapable of restoring us back to health, but it's actually one of the reasons why we're sick. It's one of the reasons why we die every year. Hundreds of thousands of people are killed or maimed by surgeries and drugs and medical error to the point where doctoring is the third leading cause of death. Only cancer and heart disease kill more people than the medical model. We got a problem. See, but the good news, the bright side, there's always the bright side here, folks. The good news is, is that if we take control over what we can control, that is our lifestyle choices, all the strategies we talk about here on the bright side, if we start to apply these ideas, it doesn't matter what the doctor says. It doesn't matter what the doctor does. I got a letter yesterday from a lady who's going to, uh, a lady whose daughter is 21 years old and she's going to have her gallbladder removed. 21 years old. She's pregnant. And so she has pain in her gallbladder and now they want to take out her gallbladder. Okay. 500,000 of them a year are taken out, but it just struck me as what the heck is going on? This woman is pregnant and they're going to do surgery on her? This is how we think. Because the doctor tells us, and, and God love this poor girl and her mom. They don't know. They're not listening to the bright side. If you want to apply simplicity to any health challenge, and this is what it's all about, simplicity. The first thing we need to do is to, to restore the pristine state of the body. Is to do a restore. Like on your computer, we calm the body down. We remove anything extraneous from the body. We want to think of our body as our baby. When your baby's crying, you nurture your baby, you love your baby with patience, with compassion, with love. And this is how we want to treat our bodies with compassion, with love, with patience. When our baby's crying, we nutriate the baby. We remove any traumatizing agents from the baby. We love our baby. And this is how we want to approach our bodies as if it's the baby. And don't underestimate, by the way, the power of compassion. Compassion means with suffering, compassion, not suffering itself, but with suffering. So we feel the suffering. Compassion is a very, very powerful and important word. What if our politicians were all compassionate? What if we had a compassionate government? What if we were all compassionate with each other? We felt each other suffering. Well, we don't, clearly, so it should come as no surprise that we don't do it with our bodies either. All right. I know this sounds airy-fairy, but it's not. It has to do with our health, our physical well-being. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Ben, you're listening. 
listening to The Bright Side. Thank you so much for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, benfuchsarchives.com. Uh, both those sites have search engines as well. If you're interested in checking out a specific topic, you can also purchase products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can make some money and help spread the word about how powerful, how effective, and how important a good nutritional supplement program can be, and how important and effective good health strategies can be in general. And of course, you can start yourself a business or get your products at the wholesale price. If you're interested in checking out our skin health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our Retinol 5% gel made with retinol, vitamin C, and our transdermal delivery matrix, and a touch of something called fullerenes, and that's it. You don't need a lot of ingredients for your skin, and you don't need a lot of products for your skin either. You know, you don't need an eye cream. You don't need a special cream for creping. I saw this commercial for something called Crepe Erase. What a bunch of hogwash that is. The skin is the same whether it's on your eye or it's on your big toe. It doesn't matter. Anywhere in between. It's the same stuff, folks. The skin under your eyes is no different. This is just a way to sell us more products. You don't need a lot of products to take care of your skin. You don't need a lot of ingredients to take care of your skin. I just got back from a trade show, uh, a, uh, a uh, ingredient trade show for skincare chemists. Oh, my God. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of ingredients. You don't need that many ingredients. They're just there to sell you stuff. You need vitamin C, you need vitamin A, you need a way to deliver it into the lower levels of the skin, and that's it. And I don't care if the skin is on the top of your head or the bottom of your foot. It doesn't matter. That's why I call my company the truth, because that's the truth. And I've been doing this for 32 years. When I, needed, when I needed something for myself in the lab, do you think I whipped up an emulsion? Do you think I whipped up a cream and put water and preservative and fragrance? No, I just went and got the active ingredients I wanted and put them on my skin. And then sometimes I would use something to enhance the delivery, a transdermal system. And that's what I'm selling you. Why should, why should I be the only one? Why should I, just because I work in a lab, that doesn't mean you don't, want, you don't deserve the same kind of product. I'm giving you the product I use. I'm giving you the product, and I can use anything. I can make anything. I'm giving you the stuff that I've been using, and my friends have been using, and my mom's been using, and my loved ones have been using for 30 years, 32 years. Because that's when I developed this idea when I was working for Blistax. I was like, why are we, what is the purpose of the wax and the silicon and the oil and the preservative? Oh, it's to sell product. That's not fair, folks. Anyway, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. You will absolutely 100% notice a difference, and you'll notice a difference quickly within one or two doses, typically. Okay, so. If you want to do one thing, if you're dealing with a whole bunch of health challenges, a whole bunch of health issues, a whole bunch of symptomology, you want to do one thing, this is it. Calm the body down. Activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is also called the craniosacral system, by the way. You may have heard of craniosacral therapy. Craniosacral therapy activates the parasympathetic nervous system. They don't say it that way, but that's basically what they're doing. They use therapeutic touch and massage and they especially work on the spine, but basically what they're doing is they're activating the parasympathetic nervous system, the calming nervous system. And you do it with patience. It takes, it didn't take, for most of us, we didn't wake up and overnight have these problems, even though it seems that way. They take years to build up. We do it with love and we do it with compassion and don't underestimate the importance of compassion. With, with suffering, we want to feel the, ba the, the body as if it's a separate entity. Feel your body as a separate entity, just for a moment. You know, we, we're so attached to our bodies, we think we are our bodies. Even though in, in the language we say things like, my hand, like there's a me and I have a hand. So we separate them out in our language. We say my foot, my leg, but we don't separate it out in our thoughts. We think we are our bodies. But if we separated out our bodies, treated them as a separate entity, whether it's a baby or a pet or a child or an animal, whatever you want to, however you want to phrase it, we would... You know, it would, we couldn't treat our bodies the way we did if we saw it as a separate entity. If, if we saw our body as a, a, our pet or our baby, we would understand that cigarettes and McDonald's and drugs are poisoning our baby. Our surgical procedures are dismembering our baby. Oh, your baby's belly hurts? Let's rip it apart. We'll take out the gallbladder. Oh, the thyroid hurts? Oh, we'll take that out. 
instead of our loving our baby, we're torturing our baby. And then we say, this is the funniest thing of all, we say our baby attacks us. We have a heart attack. Our heart attacks us. It's mad at us. It attacks us. So we dumb down the heart. We ablate it. We poison it. We, we electrocute it. Yes, we electrocute our heart. That's a doctor's strategy for a heart that's not behaving. Our gallbladder attacks us? No problem. We're taking the thing out. How dare you attack us? You're gone. You're out of here. This is how stupid we are. This is how stupid the model is. We are the gallbladder. Our immune system attacks us. Oh, we're going to shut that thing down. We got all kinds of drugs to shut down our immune system because our immune system is attacking us. Not only do we not see our baby, uh, our body as our baby, we see it as the enemy. We see our bodies as the enemy. It's attacking us. So of course it's okay to poison it or dismember it or slowly suppress it, gradually kill it. When we look at our babies, at our bodies as our babies or as living organism, uh, as something alive, and then we give our babies bodies the love and the nurturing they deserve, our babies' bodies will immediately begin to feel better. And this is where calming the body down begins or becomes important. Deactivating the emergency survival system that is behind all chronic degenerative disease, all of it, A-L-L, all of it. There is no such thing as a chronic degenerative health issue that does not have behind it an activated survival nervous system. And that's simplicity, folks. Doesn't get any simpler than that. We want to learn to deactivate our jacked up sympathetic nervous system. Behind all chronic degenerative disease, this is what you will find, an activated survival system. This survival system, this sur safety mechanism that the body has, it's unbelievably, it's unbelievably important, it's unbelievably complex, it's unbelievably fascinating. It's a true miracle, the safety survival system, how it, how it immediately... It immediately turns on. It immediately takes over our chemistry. When we do something as simple as thinking a lousy thought, certainly when we have an infection or we have some kind of toxicity in the blood, this sympathetic nervous system is important, certainly, but the problem is when it's activated long-term, chronically, over and over again. Understanding this one idea this one simple idea is the key to longevity. It's the key to understanding how to work with keeping the body healthy. And this, by the way, is the difference between cure and reversal. If we're sick, we don't need to be cured. Cure is about magic. If we're sick, we need to be reversed by reversing the, uh, the uh, energy from the from, from the survival nervous system to the relaxation nervous system. Cure is about magic. Reversal is about science. Reversal is logic. Cure is based on the idea that we're stuck with the disease. Disease is a noun. Disease is a thing. It has to be magically transformed with a cure. This thing called disease must be magically transformed into something called health, some kind of supernatural shape-shifting. This is why doctors and the government that protects the doctors are so protect, protective of the word cure. They, doctors won't say the word cure. They go to jail if they say the word cure or lose their license. I could lose my license. If I tell you I could cure something, I could lose my license as a pharmacist. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we got lots of lines open for you today. Sometimes you guys all call at once, and sometimes nobody calls at all. Got tons of letters to read, though, if you're not, if uh, nobody calls in. But 844-236-6010 is our number if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, the longevity products, the longevity business, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you want to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised on the program, head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. And of course, if you're interested in our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Got a blog up there. And you can also head over to my uh, Facebook blog or Facebook page, The Truth With Ben. Got it. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the Truth With Ben. Um, that's my Facebook page, my professional Facebook page. So many of you guys are friending me at my personal page. I don't have any room left on that one, but and I don't check that one that much anyway. But The Truth With Ben has all our skincare stuff on Facebook, and you can also check out our blog at 
truthtreatments.com in addition to our Truth Skin Health products. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking about the difference between cure and reversal. Tomorrow we're gonna we'll get back into talking some hardcore nutritional stuff, supplements that you can use. But yeah, you know, there's a lot of ways that you can activate this reversal, this uh, 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 a relaxation response in the body. In fact, there's a really cool book that came out back in the 1960s or 70s by a guy named Herbert Benson, who was a professor. Uh, a medical school professor, and I'm trying to think if it was Harvard or Yale, one of those Ivy League schools, Harvard or Yale. It's called The Relaxation Response. So if you think I'm talking airy-fairy here, you got to read this book, The Relaxation Response. And he's got another one working with The Relaxation Response. It's all about how relaxation is associated with reversal of chronic degenerative disease. Herbert Benson, he's a medical doctor. I think he passed away, but he's a medical doctor. He was a medical doctor, and he talks about the link between activation of the parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxation nervous system, and and the things we could do. He has a strategy in the book where he says just by repeating the word one, O-N-E, repeat uh, sitting down sitting still and repeating the word one just saying one 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 for for as short a period of time as you want as long a period of time as you want you'll lower your blood pressure and reduce the markers of disease just by saying the word one that's how simple it is when was somebody when was the last time you got a prescription for saying the word one and this guy's from uh, an ivy league medical school professor the relaxation response and tomorrow we'll tell you some strategies for activating the relaxation response some cool ones too As we continue talking about uh, anabolism, building, repair, activating the body's growth and anti-aging systems that are built in. My pharmacist, Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let us motivate to Steve. Let's finish up with Steve from yesterday. What's up, man? How you doing? Ben, I am wondering about the, uh, we were, uh, you were discussing yesterday uh, about uh, uh, where I was anyway interested in 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 in, in fat in cholesterol yes. and uh, i heard a doctor on a radio show and he said like the new thing is eating uh, uh go for the fatty meats go for the uh 80% uh, hamburger uh go for fatty cuts of meat and uh but uh you know there might be what's the other side of the what is needed That's a great together? question that's a great question. First of all, that. what other that's a, that's, uh, pro, uh, what other uh, uh, now? You, the, the people what do you do with the fats? What do you do with the fats in order right. to support all that? And I got about, your question. And about uh, uh, keto, keto, ketosis, Ke- and uh, you know, ketogenesis. How are ketones like raspberry and coffee ketones yes. associated yes. with ketosis, which is yes. usually a detrimental thing? I believe with that with the kidneys, correct? Good. Absolutely. Now, hang on. You asked a bunch of questions there. I'm going to answer. I'm, I'm going to let and you go I after this because, well, I got a bunch of calls here now. Everybody's okay. calling all at once. So, so here a couple things. First of all, I got a problem. You know, the pendulum goes to two extremes. You got the no fat extreme. Now you got the all fat extreme. I got a problem here because with, with eating hamburger fat and meat fat because you cook those fats and cooked fats are a big problem. Now it's true that meat fat when it's cooked is not as problematic as vegetable fat. That's really a problem. The polyunsaturated fats when those are cooked, but but still, when you cook, you ruin things. Now, you do need to break things up a little bit. The proteins, it helps make the cooking helps the amino acids get a little bit more uh, available. So there's a certain amount of cooking you need to do. But I, when I'm talking about fat, I'm talking about coconut oil, I'm talking about butter, and I'm talking about nutritional oils. That's the basic, those are the best kinds of fat. Cooked fat, I got a problem with. Now, the second thing you talked about is very interesting, and that's these ketones that you can now buy a supplement. So for people who don't want to mess around with the ketogenic diet, now they got supplements, ketone supplements. And they can be helpful. And in fact, the, the military is using these ketone supplements to induce ketosis for the benefits of, uh, of the ketogenic diet. But still, the best way to get your ketones is to practice caloric restriction and a high fat, high relative, key word here, relative fat diet. Not a lot of fat, but relative to the, your other macronutrients. So if you're getting 1,500 calories a day, you want 60 to 70% to be coming from fat. So you're looking at, uh, you know, whatever, 800, 900 calories from fat. So that doesn't mean that you eat a bunch of French fries. It means you pick your fats carefully, and it means that your fats, the high amount of fat is relative to the other nutrients. Lastly, 
thing you asked about ketosis, that's a little bit different. Uh, ketosis can be a problem when it's art of, when it's uh, a pro, uh, 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 comes from messed up biochemistry, particularly sugar metabolism. That's a little bit different. That's ketoacidosis, and that's not the, what I'm talking about when I talk about the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet is a gradual way of building up ketones. Ketoacidosis is a toxic way of doing it. Happens really quickly, and yes, it can be a problem. Diabetics uh, are especially prone to this because it involves how the body processes sugar and how the body processes fats. Steve, I got to motivate. Thank you so much for your call. One last thing. If you're going to do the ketogenic diet, make sure you're using lots of vitamin E and other nutrients, which we're going to continue talking about. I'm not done talking about the ketogenic diet. Well, Thanks, bro. K2, vitamin K2. I'll be talking about that also. You got. I, you should be sending me notes on here. It's got all the good stuff I'm going to be talking about. <laughs> K2 is very important. I did. I said, are you still at uh, the, uh, did you get my email yesterday? I didn't uh, get one, I don't think. K2, ben at KSEO.com. Yeah, you got to check my email. Thank you. Okay. Take care, brother. Have a beautiful day, yes, man. Sir. Good to talk to you. All right. Let's move on to do, 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 Trudy in Florida. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, Trudy? Hi, Ben. Good morning to you. Good morning uh, to you. Listening to you ever since I discovered you. Oh, <laughs> no day, kidding. How did you, how did you, uh, anyway, how did, how did you discover? Well, hang on, Trudy. How did you discover well, the Bright Side? Well, there's a program on just before you. And uh, he's a doctor, and I listen who? to him, and then you come on. So. Oh, good deal. Who, is, who are you listening to? Doctors. Who are you listening to? Dr. Asa. Dr. Asa. Is that, uh, what's his last name? Um, oh, oh that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Thanks for your call. What's going on? How can we help you? Um, I'm taking emulsified cod liver oil. Okay. The cod liver oil I used to take, it wasn't emulsified, but that company doesn't uh, make it anymore. Okay. So is this okay, this emulsified? Uh, well, it's not bad. You don't necessarily need it unless you have a digestive health issue or a gallbladder problem. It's not going to hurt you. I would only be concerned about the extra cost and if, if you're getting the emulsifying agent instead of the cod liver oil. Emulsifying agents are cheaper than cod liver oil, so if they're replacing the oil with the emulsifying agent, you may not be getting the most value from your product. But other than that, it's not much of a problem. What are they using to emulsify? Do you know? Uh, is it lecithin? If, if I look at the uh, Why don't you go look at We're going to take a break, Trudy. We've got a commercial break. So why don't you go look at it and let us know when, you come, when we come back, okay? Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844 is our number. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you when we come back. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Trudy in Florida. 844-236-6010 is our number. Trudy, you there? Yes, I am. And it's Dr. Asa Andrews. Okay, good. I think I've heard of him. You're in Florida. So uh, is, it, is he a local guy or is it on GCN? Uh, well, he graduated from Florida State. But, but I mean, are you, I listening on a, are you listening on a radio station or on the Internet? Uh, the radio station that I'm okay, listening cool. to you on also. He's okay, on good. three hours at night. He's on three hours at night? Yes, every night. Wow. What kind of doctor is he? Um, a medical and nutritionalist. He's an MD? Uh-huh. Yes, he Are is. You, you're sure he's an MD? He's on for three hours a night? That's unusual for an MD to, I know. to do three hours a night. Well, good. <laughs> and he I'm, talks. Thank, thank uh, you for okay, uh, sharing that. The ingredients that. in this yes. emulsified cod liver oil yes. is purified water, of okay. course, okay. glycerol, yeah. Uh, what is this? Sor- Spell it. Sorbitol. Poly- uh, sorbitol. That's a sweetener. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's it. Uh, sunflower, lecithin, peppermint oil, gum. Yeah. Um, and ex- some rosemary extract. Okay. Pyramid oil. Okay, so they're using lecithin to emulsify. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but you're paying for a lot of extra stuff that's not the oil. That's the only issue. But it's not necessarily oh. a bad thing. Make sure I that you... Have- Make sure it's not, it's, it's uh, not, the, there's no heat applied to the oil. It probably isn't. What company makes it? Uh, Swanson. Uh, they're a good company. That's a lot of stuff that you're paying for, though, that's not yeah. the oil. That's the only issue. All right, Trudy, thank you so much for the kind words, and I uh, hope everything works out, whatever you got going on, and uh, I hope okay. we helped you. Okay, yeah, thanks so much. Stay. Take care, Trudy. Bye-bye. Okay, Anita in Missouri, welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on? Hi. Hey. Um... I was I was just wondering. Um, I, I had read um, online that you could check and see if your probiotic was any good by um, opening up the capsule and putting it in some milk for 
like huh. 10 hours or so. Okay. Do you know anything about that? Or no, I hadn't you heard of that. But if your probiotic is good or not. That, that makes sense. I hadn't heard that, but yeah, that kind of makes sense to me. I have to think why that wouldn't necessarily. That should work. You, I mean, you should have an effect, right? If it's working in your intestine. Some of them are inter- enterically coated, and the milk may not be enough to break it open, so to speak. Some of the bacteria come with, are, are in spores, so they're protected. So I'm not sure necessarily if that's 100% accurate, but it's not a bad idea. i got to look into that. That's actually kind of clever, Anita. Where'd you, you just read it on the Internet? Yeah, and I just I tried it with some... Uh, probiotics that I had at home, and? I opened up the capsule and put it in there, and nothing happened. That's interesting. Now, you, so, you may want to look. I was kind of wondering. Yeah, you don't know about probiotics, and, and manufacturing of probiotics is a lot different than manufacturing vitamins and minerals. There's not a lot of companies uh-huh. that can do, that can actually make the probiotics. They're living organisms, and so you're dealing with life. It's not like a vitamin or a mineral, which is, which is basically a biochemical or a chemical. The, uh, the, the probiotics are living entities. So it's a little bit tricky to work with them, to manufacture them, and you don't always know what you're getting. That's why I like the Nightly Essence so much. The guy who makes the Nightly Essence and sells it to Longevity, actually Longevity's making it now, but the guy who formulated and started is a friend of mine, and he has a, a wonderful facility in Minnesota. And uh, you know, I, I, I recommend it because I trust him and I know him. So uh, that's, what, that's why the Nightly Essence is so cool. Now, of course, Longevity's doing it, and, and that's a trustworthy company as well. I can't answer that question, Nina, but I'm going to look into it. That's I'm glad you brought that to my okay. attention. Okay. Does All right. Help? We'll keep talking about the ketogenic diet because I'm trying to keep on track with that. My are you? How are you doing with it? How are you doing with it? Well, I, not. I'm not doing great? okay. Um, well, it seems like I'm not losing it, but I, I heard you talking about calorie restriction, so maybe I might try that. And yes. Are you Were supposed you tr- to be in ketosis and then become keto-adapted after a certain well, point? Well, or- uh, ideally, keto-adapted, meaning you be, become a fat burner, is basically what you're talking about. And yes, that's the ideal. Right. Con- that would be the ideal condition, is for you to be burning fat, not sugar. The ketogenic diet uh-huh. encourages that, as you say. But you're right. The, a lot of times when we do the ketogenic diet, we think we can eat as many calories as we want, and most of it comes from fat. It doesn't work that way. You've got to do the ketogenic diet in conjunction with limiting your calories and intermittent fasting for that, for that uh, matter, too. So, yes, uh, yeah. good point. Ketogenic diet means a percentage, but in terms of absolute calories, the number of calories, that's caloric restriction, and that has to work with your ketogenic diet. Because okay. I was reading that you need to be on that um, for a it Certain. takes some people longer, maybe yes, a couple that's of true. months to get. That, well, to no, not body. a couple. Of, it shouldn't take a couple of months. A couple of months to get going really, really good uh, to be really uh-huh. a fat burner. But it shouldn't take more than a week or two weeks. Sometimes two weeks or so to really get going with it. It shouldn't take that. It should not take a couple of months though. But a couple of weeks okay. sometimes some people do do take a little bit of time to go into full blown fat burning. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Anita. Have a great day. All right, let's go to Texas and say hi to Dave. Good morning. What's up, Mike? Uh, is this uh, yeah, Grave, hey. Graves Dave? Yeah, certainly a hey, return hey. from the Graves Dave is what my wife likes to call me. But, uh, but, but yeah, no I'm more Graves Dave. Now we call you no more Graves Dave. That's exactly right, my brother. It's all gone thanks to you, and I certainly appreciate it. Um, all right. The reason I'm calling in is, um, you know, it's kind of related to what you've been talking about, um, the ketogenic and uh, cholesterol and things like that. And then uh, I'm another uh, success story on that front because I've been doing what you've been saying to a T. I'm like, uh, you know, I'm like your biggest disciple. I listen every day. I actually do just about everything you recommend. I love it. And as part of my Graves' disease, I had uh, a lot of cholesterol or a lot of plaque, I should say, being built up in my in my arteries. Uh, I had I had them scanned uh, with the ultrasonic, uh, you know, thing, and um, I mean, I'm sorry, an ultrasound and. I was told that my clotted arteries were, were fairly plaqued up, uh, about 25%, as a matter of fact. It's about a year ago. And I've been doing the ketogenic diet since you started talking about it, probably a little bit sooner, but really gotten into it about last fall. Um, plus, I've kind of been on a high um, um, cholesterol diet, believe it or not. Oh, that's awesome. Um, that's you know, awesome. What do you and, eat? Like and, eggs? You're, you're eating eggs and, and I, organ I, meats and that, I, stuff, I, that sort of thing? I, I eat lots of eggs. I organ meats. I actually eat bone soup every week, you know. Nice. I, um, I, I eat butter. I, I, I don't shy away from any of that stuff. Tell me I, the plaques are starting I, to go. Tell me the plaques are gone. So, yeah, so I went and it got scanned on Monday again. This it was a year since I got my first scan, and my doctor 
told me, oh, my God, it looks like all the drugs that we're giving you are really working because your black is, is just about gone. And I, and I had to let her know at that time. I was like, look, you know, I haven't taken your cholesterol medication in about a year. Oh, that is fact, hysterical. You know, I've, I've been taking a lot of chelating uh, type of minerals. And <laughs> Did you tell her you're eating cholesterol? Did you tell her you're eating yeah, eggs? And, that's hysterical. I did. She got really mad and said there's no scientific basis on Put her that. on. Well, yeah, tell her, let's talk. Yeah. Can she come on the radio? Yeah. Tell, her, tell her to be brave. Come on the radio. I, I doubt to... she, she would, but, you know, I, I, I had to laugh because I was, you know, I was living proof. Isn't it funny uh, how you, there's no scientific evidence, but you, what are you, Dave? They, 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 they believe the scientific evidence, but not you, not the results, not the patients. It's like that old joke. Who are you going to believe, me or your lying eyes? You ever see, hear that joke where the, where the guy catches his wife with somebody cheating on him, and he goes, the wife goes, who are you going to believe, me or your lying eyes? <laughs> it's like, yeah, who are you going to believe, the statistics or, or you? You're the living example, the living proof. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. Well, you know, you've, done a, you know, you've done a miraculous job of, of getting me to where I need to be, and I thank you so much. You've done it, Dave. I'm, I'm happy. You've done it. Well, well I appreciate you. I'm, I'm just doing what you recommend, and I listen okay. every day. So hopefully your callers are, are taking note. Um, one thing I am um, having right now, it's been raining a ton here in Austin. I mean, just raining and raining and raining. Okay. And as a result, the allergy, um, oh, mold yeah. allergy is off the charts. Okay. And I'm suffering from uh, pretty bad mold allergies. And I just wanted to see anything Couple of that things. I recommend or just keep doing what I'm doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. It sounds like you're totally on the right track. So I would tell you, if I, if you know, you just called out of the blue, I would tell you to start working on the digestive system and the good bacteria and the probiotics. You're probably already doing that. So as far as uh, be, uh, a, a, an immediate assault goes, because that's what that is, you're just getting a big bunch of mold all of a sudden. And it is, pro- it is definitely a problem in Austin. I know that personally. Uh, vitamin C is probably one of the most important of the pro-immune system nutrients. It's medicinal in high doses. It's nutritive in low doses. It's medicinal in high doses. So I'd be using high doses of vitamin C. I'd also be using high doses of bioflavonoids. You may want to get the bur- the Brugamax product off of brightsidehealthproducts.com. Polyphenols in general uh, from fruits and vegetables, onions and garlic have some really effective medicinal properties. If you're not doing selenium, that's also important for the immune system. And then my all-time favorite mineral, as you probably know, is zinc. That's also very important for the immune system. Last but not least, get, if you're not already, get yourself on N-acetylcysteine, NAC, 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day. Very important for the immune system and very helpful for allergies too. And then one last thing, alpha-lipoic acid four or five hundred milligrams a day. Dave, I'm out of time, buddy. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. You guys have a beautiful, spectacular day. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com. We'll talk to you all later. Have an awesome, beautiful, wonderful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now.